Brandon Ingram is one of those players who always just kind of feels like he's just been there. And I don't necessarily say that in a good or a bad way. I just sort of think of it from the perspective of he comes to New Orleans as part of the Anthony Davis trade. He makes an all-star in 2020, his first all-star appearance, wins most improved player, you know, seems to be on something of an upward trajectory. And ever since then, he's sort of plateaued. And I don't say that in a bad way because he's been averaging over 20 points a game ever since coming to New Orleans, and that's not nothing. But you know, he hasn't made an all-star appearance since. The success of the Pelicans has been up and down. They're a smaller market, so they don't necessarily get so much media attention. And as we know, whatever attention they do get is Zion related. So that's what I mean when I say Brandon Ingram has kind of just been there. Like he's just been quietly doing his thing, not getting so much attention and fanfare. But every once in a while, he has one of these games where you're just like, oh my God, is Brandon Ingram capable of being one of the best players in the NBA? And we got one of those performances last night against Toronto. 41 points in just 29 minutes in a 38 point win over the Raptors. And maybe the most impressive part of that 41 points is that he only needed one free throw to do it. Shot eight of 11 on threes, even chipped in nine assists and also pretty impressive, zero turnovers. And like I just said, it's performances like these that really make you wonder, like, could Brandon Ingram be doing more? Could he be viewed better by the public? I would love to see that. I think it's so possible because I have such an affinity for guys who could score at all three levels and Brandon Ingram is one of those guys. I think it's a recipe that proves particularly successful in the playoffs, right? Where defenses really lock up, where you sort of have to take what those defenses give you and you need to be able to score at any spot on the court and Ingram can do that. And we got a taste of what he could do in the playoffs. If you remember the Pelicans made it in 2022, they had that tough six game series against the Suns where Ingram averaged 27 points, six rebounds and six assists. Like the flashes are there, the potential is there for him to really become a household name. I just think the Pelicans have to have more consistency when it comes to making the playoffs and giving him that platform to do it. And this year is looking like it's going to be another one of those seasons. They're seventh right now in the Western Conference, which does put them in the playing tournament. But fortunately, they're only half a game out of fifth. I really do hope that Ingram can not only get the opportunity to prove what he can really do and to become more of that household name, but that he also takes full advantage of it because I think he can. And I think his game is so fun to watch and he's so talented. And so I hope that materializes starting in these playoffs, but then just builds consistency over the course of the next few years, because as we saw against Toronto, this dude is so good and he deserves all the praise.